this short video will demonstrate the basic workflow um, to use Dragonfly for model uh, for modeling the pores in a porous material uh, using the, the CT images. So we have we have the uh, data set here in 2D and 3D. Now to do the pore segmentation we need to create a new ROI first. So here we create a new ROI region of interest. Then we turn on the range. The range will indicate all the pixel intensity with the color. If the if the pixel has intensity in this range, it will be marked as a red color here. So we can change we can change the range to find the best stretch hood for this segmentation. When we have a good range for the pores, we add to the ROI. Now I have added all the pixels in this range to this ROI. So the color, we can change it to something else. So if we see this in 2D and 3D, the 3D volume rendering, we, we see the metrics and the pores in color. So another way to um, visualize the pores is to convert the ROI to a mesh model. So here, export mesh. Now this mesh is quite big, so we use the sampled mesh. So if you have a very good graphic card, you can use a normal mesh. For my computer, it's not super good, so I use no, uh, sampled mesh. Now we have a new object named the mesh pores. Now we have we have a model which is showing only the, the pores. Of course, there are many big pores and small pores. If we want to remove the small pores, we could do it before the mesh. We can do it here with the ROI refine reach of interest process island we can remove we can remove either 16 connected or 26 connected so the minimum voxel number voxel count is 9 we can set it to something like 10 it means we take only the pores with minimum number of voxels is 10 Every, every post more than 10 voxels will be deleted from this ROI. So we could do this to refine the ROI before we create the mesh. Then we can remove all the very, very tiny poles if we want. So this is the basic uh, workflow for uh, pole, model, pole modeling and the uh, from the volume data to the mesh model